I wish great posters translated into great movies. Mortuary is another in a long line of 80s horror flicks that was made a few years before it actually came out. I'll wait here. <laughs> All right, you turkey. <laughs> Bye. This one has a 1981 copyright. Where do you want to go? Um, let's go to the roller ring. Maybe he's there. And roller skating. And disco. And so I think I have to love this movie. Someone has killed Aaron Walton's father with a baseball bat by the pool. She's sad about this and starts having nightmares and starts sleepwalking and starts thinking someone is trying to kill her too. Later, the youngest Bill Paxton I've ever seen pops up and then he shows up from time to time to be weird as only young Bill Paxton can. He's got a crush on you. Are you jealous? Of him? No, no, I feel kind of sorry for him. He's gotten a little weird since his mother committed suicide. I'd be weird too if I had Hank Andrews for my father. And on top of that, <laughs> locking me up in a mortuary when I was a kid with dead bodies? <laughs> no kidding. One of the things Mortuary has going for it is that it has one of the best variations of the cat scare I've seen yet. Such accidents do not often occur since their eyes are open and they usually respond to warnings. I never used to sleepwalk before my father was murdered. Shit, we're turning into a couple of scaredy cats. The boogeyman will get you if you don't watch out. Uh, come on, Mr. Boogeyman, let's boogie. There's not much else to Mortuary though, and ultimately what's frustrating about the film is that it has one of the biggest red herring moments I've ever seen. It exists solely to make the audience think that someone is the bad guy, and then when it's revealed that they're not, no one thinks to say, hey, wait a minute, what about that super weird thing you were doing that you totally denied doing, which made the audience, you know, think it was you, grizzly guy. But what this movie lacks in story, pacing, excitement, etc., it more than makes up for that with nightgowns. Lots and lots of nightgowns. So many nightgowns. Everyone wears a nightgown. Man, I miss nightgowns. It's like a gown for women, but you can sleep in it. How awesome is that? Where'd they go? Nightgowns. You've got me as jittery as you are. Oh, hey, a water cooler. In the nightgown of the sun and moon. Drug trip is not a drug trip, so you feel a bit insulted. Spacewalk is like a spacewalk with the corresponding way. Lost in your nothing but air with your hand in the air.